Hey guys, sorry about that dramatic entrance. I'm looking for my shop dog because I can't hear his little his uh, little jingler, his collar jingle. Um, but anyways, my name is Brody with Squids Pressure Washing LLC here in Kansas City. We are Kansas City's highest rated exterior cleaning company and a veteran owned business. Uh, we're also members of the PWRA and we're in the forum with a gentleman named George out of Virginia Beach. Mr. Sparkle, as he's known. Um, we made this video specifically for him. Hopefully it's helpful to some other folks to show him how our X-Jets are set up so that we're not, not always carrying buckets around a house. We typically stage two buckets. Uh, and all of our buckets are black six and seven gallon buckets. We used to use a barb directly in the bucket. Uh, we couldn't keep them on there. We tried a bunch of different ways to keep them glued and seated and bolted down, and they always wear holes in the bucket lids and pop off. So we went back to spring clipping a PVC draw tube down in the bucket, down in the soap bucket. Also, because they were black and they had black lids with the uh, little two inch, one and a half or two inch spout, really tough to see how much soap was left in the bucket unless you lifted it up, and even then it was just a guess. So in the video, I think there's one part where I call the little poly valve on the X-Jet hose a three-way valve. It's a two-way valve. Uh, and the other thing is, you might ask yourself why we didn't put the two-way valve directly into the PVC or figure out a way to fasten it to the PVC draw tube. Rather than cutting the poly draw tube, uh, about four inches away from the PVC tube. One was it's an afterthought, and two, I didn't know of any good way to get the poly valve to stay in the PVC because it's designed for the poly tube. So if you guys know of any ways to get it seated to the PVC well, let me know. Uh, also because it was an afterthought, the PVC draw tube and the two-way barb that connected that to the draw tube had already been siliconed in so we couldn't really I mean we could have but it would have been a pain to take it apart put the poly valve in or the poly uh, yeah the, the second poly valve in the PVC tube but the other thing was we were having the uh, poly barbs break at the PVC in the bucket lid whether it was a bucket lids fault or we were just reefing too hard on that poly hose, whatever it was, the poly valves were sticking, so I started using the stainless steel two-way valves, or gosh dang it, the stainless steel uh, double-ended barb, two-way barb. Uh, so I hope this video is helpful. If it's not, hopefully it's helpful for uh, Mr. Sparkle, aka soon to be the X-Jet Wizard. All right, Mr. Sparkle, I'm gonna to try to do this via the GoPro so I can upgrade my YouTube videos a little bit. So, I'm gonna teach you how to be an X-Jet wizard. I gotta figure out how to film this stuff better. All right, so here is the draw tube. This is an old hose, so I'm just gonna show you uh, and if you need a, a drawing, I'll scribble it out on the old yellow pad there. But this is the tube that I was using to clip inside the... Um, the soap bucket. I don't know why I couldn't figure that out. I found out they make stainless steel hose clamps. So that's probably a good, good investment to make. The thing that's holding these two things together is just a barb and then it's just siliconed in there. This end is tapered. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's tapered so it doesn't stick to the bottom of the bucket via suction, which I thought was pretty clever. Anyways, here's the part where your X-Jet goes in and here's your valve. Your three-way valve to turn it on and off, turn on and off soap. I think this is a 
20 foot hose. And the only time we really use the X jet is for stucco or drive it, or if the front of the house gutters are really, really bad. If the front of the house's gutters are really bad, then we have to put a stronger mix on them because we don't really hand scrub gutters too often, almost never actually. Uh, and on the new one, the new hose, we put two valves, we use stainless steel clamps, and I found out they make these things in stainless steel as well. You can find the two-way and the three-way valves in stainless steel. Uh, so the next next hose setup we set up for the, or we build for the uh, X-Jet's gonna have the stainless steel valves. And same with our downstream setup with the new machine that should be here today, but they're gonna be the stainless steel three-way valves to turn on soap and turn on water to flush the injector and turn it off. But on the new X-Jet hoses, we have a two-way poly valve right about here as well. And the reason for that is your hose holds quite a bit of the soap when you turn it off up here. And the reason we have that valve there is if we have to um, move the hose to a second bucket that's stationed at the other corner of the house. And our new X-Jet hoses are 70 feet long. So typically we can reach just about anywhere uh, on a stucco house or both ends of some of these smaller stucco strip malls that we're doing. But we shut off the soap down here as well and it traps it in the rest of the line. So two valves turned off here, turned off here. The hose is spring clipped into a bucket so that it doesn't pull out. We unclip it with both valves shut off, grab this end with our gun and walk the hose around the corner or wherever we need to take it to, pop it in the new bucket. The new bucket's already set up with a spring clip. We spring clip it to the lip of the bucket and all of our buckets have lids with just that little one and a half, maybe two inch diameter hole on top. And that way you can move the hose but you don't have to constantly move the bucket. So get yourself a longer hose, get two valves, station your buckets before you do the house or before you do whatever you're doing so that you can access them with a 70 foot hose. I put up another video on YouTube of people using, well, not people, me, drawing just fine on a hundred feet of hose using a five gallon machine. So you should be fine on 100 feet of hose if you want to go that far, but 70 has been sufficient. Hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments. Thanks. Shop dog hasn't helped a lick. When are you gonna start earning your earning your pay around here? <laughs>